The other shoe dropped at the State House today. Trenton lobbyist Don Seco announced a new coalition of social conservatives lining up in support of traditional marriage in New Jersey and against same-sex marriage. Marriage under the present definition has served humanity well for millennia. And we change the definition at our own peril. All the sociological data proves that children are hurt by this. On Monday here, Senate Democratic leaders stood in support of Judge Mary Jacobson's ruling last week that said gay marriage must begin in the state on October 21st. The judge ruled New Jersey's civil union law deprives same-sex couples of federal benefits and is therefore unconstitutional. Governor Christie is appealing that ruling. We are appreciative and grateful to the governor and the attorney general for waging a vigorous defense of New Jersey's law, um, and we do believe that it's a vigorous defense. What they want is what Governor Christie says he wants, a ballot referendum on same-sex marriage. We say, let the people decide. New Jerseyans are people of goodwill, but they recognize the special, unique nature of marriage. Please put it on the ballot. Have the courage to trust the wisdom of the people. Same-sex marriage advocates say you don't put civil rights issues on a ballot. As an African-American clergyman, it's also alarming to me that you would call sexual orientation a civil right. Senate President Steve Sweeney came in for special criticism for his embrace of the issue. He's the one in the beginning when he became Senate President decided that this was priority one, homosexual marriage, priority one. In a state that is the second most taxed state in the country, this is priority one. Mr. Sweeney's district, the third district, is socially conservative, the most of the Democrat districts, the most socially conservative district. Mr. Sweeney has become an alien to his own people. The media were criticized, too. I need to be honest with you folks in the press court. When we have come down here and we've spoken, we'll find that uh, those that are, are uh, pro-family, there may be one interview that is given, while those that are uh, pro-homosexual, there'll be five interviews that are shown on the news. Voters in three states, Maine, Maryland, and Minnesota, approved same-sex marriage on the ballot last year. Whether New Jersey voters would do the same is an open question. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron at the State House.